We usually think of the prophet Isaiah as a prophet to be read during the season of Advent, but he also appears in the first reading at Mass today. It's a beautiful passage from what is known as the Book of Consolation, and it makes sense that we have it right after Laetare Sunday, the fourth Sunday of Lent, when we celebrate how close Easter is. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, the U.S. Director of the Apostleship of Prayer, and I'd like to share with you some thoughts on Isaiah chapter 65. It was written to encourage the Jewish people who were exiles, refugees far from their homes. Isaiah wrote, Thus says the Lord, Lo, I am about to create new heavens and a new earth. The things of the past shall not be remembered or come to mind. Instead, there shall always be rejoicing and happiness in what I create. I will rejoice in Jerusalem and exalt in my people. No longer shall the sound of weeping be heard there or the sound of crying. Of course, the earthly city of Jerusalem, caught in the middle of a conflict between Israelis and Palestinians, is a place of much weeping and crying. And looking back in history, it has always been. In fact, we even read in the Gospels how Jesus looked across the Kidron Valley at the city of Jerusalem and wept over it. So, when will this prophecy of Isaiah be fulfilled? We take Jerusalem here to mean the new Jerusalem, or heaven, because this passage also refers to a new heavens and a new earth. That's the only true and lasting consolation that a person will find. And we have this beautiful season of Lent as a time to make sure that we are on the right path that will lead to it. Happy Lent!